Hey guys, I'm in the studio today to show you how to connect your Denon DJ MC Series controller with Serato DJ and SoundSwitch. SoundSwitch allows you to easily create automated light shows that are both dynamic and in perfect sync with the beat of your music. In this video, I'll cover hardware connections, software settings, and then bring it all together with an automated light show using the MC7000. Let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the things you'll need to link sound switch with Denon DJ Serato controllers. First, you'll need a Serato DJ enabled controller. In this video, I'll be using the MC7000, but you can also use the MC4000 or MCX8000. The setup and configuration will be very similar. Next, you'll need at least one DMX capable light fixture. To run sound switch, you'll need either a Windows or a Mac computer. Next, you'll need a sound switch compatible DMX interface. To make the connections, you'll need DMX cables, USB cable, and XLR or RCA cables to connect to your audio source. If you want to trigger sound switch functions on the fly, you can add a MIDI controller to the setup, but this is completely optional. Performance functions can still be triggered from the sound switch application window. Now let's connect all of the devices. First, connect the DMX end of the sound switch interface to a longer DMX cable. Then connect the female end of your DMX cable to the DMX in port on your first fixture. If you're using multiple lights, connect the second DMX cable to the DMX out port on the first fixture and the other end to the DMX in port on the next fixture in your setup. You'll want to repeat this process until you've connected all of your lights. Next, connect the sound switch USB interface and USB cable to your computer. If you are using an optional MIDI controller, connect the device to a second USB port and power it on. On the MC7000, connect the power, USB, and audio cables to the rear panel. After making all the connections, power on your computer and the MC7000. Now that everything is connected and powered on, we need to verify that all the software settings are configured properly for all of our devices. Open Sound Switch. Once open, choose Edit Mode. Open the preferences by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner. From the General tab, ensure that Serato DJ is selected. If Sound Switch was previously enabled for Engine Prime or Virtual DJ, you'll need to restart Sound Switch for Serato DJ mode to take effect. Next, click the Performance Mode tab. Ensure that Playhead Smoothing and Decks 1 through 4 are selected. If you're using the MC4000, choose Decks 1 and 2. Now click Done to close the preferences. Let's start by creating a new venue. Click the plus symbol to add and name your venue. Venues are lighting rig profiles that allow you to recall a configuration of light fixtures that may change based on your event or location. You can easily change venue by clicking the venue name. Next, let's add our light fixtures. There are a couple of ways to add lights in Sound Switch, but in this example, we'll be using the DMX Universe map. Click the word DMX to open the map. From the fixture library area, search for your light by manufacturer and then model. Once you've found your light, drag and drop the fixture to the map on any unused address. Sound Switch will automatically assign the address and fill the map based on the number of channels your light fixture requires. This simplifies the process and ensures your addresses do not overlap. You'll want to repeat this process for all additional lights in the setup. Now that we've set the address in Sound Switch, we need to set the same address on the light fixtures themselves. Once your lights are properly addressed, you can give them a quick test by switching to MIDI mode and activating a full white. If your lights are set up properly, they will all be on and illuminating in full white. If your lights are not responding, you may want to ensure that you've added the correct fixture and assigned the same DMX address in both the software and on the fixture. Once the venue and lights are properly configured, you can return to edit mode by closing the MIDI page. Just click the word MIDI to return to edit mode. It's worth mentioning that all of the previous steps are only necessary the first time you configure sound switch. All of the preferences, venues, and fixture assignments will be recalled each time you open sound switch thereafter. Okay, so let's choose a song from a Serato crate and create an automated light show. 
Keep in mind, SoundSwitch uses the beat grid information to perfectly synchronize light changes to the music. So you'll want to ensure that all of your music has first been analyzed in Serato DJ prior to scripting. When you found the song you want to script, just double click to load. Once loaded, click automation from the top menu bar and choose auto script. Alternatively, you can select multiple tracks or an entire crate to batch auto script multiple songs. With the automation settings window open, you can choose a variety of dynamic settings for intensities, movement speeds, color theme, moving head positions, and attribute cues to further customize your light show. Click start to generate the auto script. After the process is completed, you can preview the light show by pressing spacebar on your computer. SoundSwitch offers a variety of customizable drag and drop effects, positions, and attribute cues, so if you're not satisfied with the automated script, you can always edit and build the performance exactly as you envision it. Since we're done with setup and prepping, let's switch to performance mode. To do this, click file from the top menu bar and choose switch mode. Next, click perform and then choose your venue. Now let's launch Serato DJ to quickly ensure the sound switch remote is active. Open the preferences by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner. Click the expansion packs tab and choose Serato remotes. Ensure sound switch is listed in the active remote section. If the remote is listed in the available remotes, but not active, just select it and click activate. Close the preferences menu by again clicking the gear icon. Since both applications are configured and linked, we can play the auto scripted songs in Serato while sound switch synchronizes and automates the light show. Let's take a look. All right, well that concludes this instructional video of how to set up SoundSwitch with Denon DJ's MC Series controllers in Serato DJ. Be sure to subscribe to both Denon DJ and SoundSwitch YouTube channels for more exciting and informative content. Thanks for watching.